Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Nike Training Club Fitness app. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using the Nike Training Club Fitness app here? Well, using it is fairly easy. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to install the actual app, which in this case, you want to search for Nike Training. Now, with Nike Training, already installed here now by the way if you haven't installed it you could go ahead and open up google play store here search for the exact word here which is nike training so just to give you an idea here this is what's going to look like so in this case you want to go ahead and click on this one and install it but let's go and click on open and from here what we need to do first is we need to join them now in this case let's go ahead and click on join us and choose your browser now from here you need to enter your email and some information here let's go ahead and enter our email now let's go ahead and enter our password. Now a eight digit code will be sent to your email. In this case, you wanna go ahead and set, uh, get, uh, visit your email and enter your eight digit code here. Now it should say you've been uh, signed in successfully. Let's go ahead and click on continue to go back into the app, which in this case, what we need to do next is we need to wait for it to load up and basically lock us in. Now from here, it's going to load our, in this case, load the workout library. So let's just wait for this load. Now, in the main UI for Nike Training Club here, you'll have the option to choose from different workouts. Now, the great thing about the Nike Training Club Fitness app here is it allows you to basically access different or give you ideas on different workouts. Like for example, we have a 20 minute strength for athletes, so we have 15 minute mobility for athletes and 15 minute agility for athletes, which in this case focuses on different skills. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and search for different workouts that I might want here. Like for example, we have the hit category here. We have the strength, which in this case focuses on your strength. We also have yoga, Pilates, and even mindset here, which in this case gives us a lot of options here, depending on what type of workout you want. Now, in this case, you could also use the search bar here to search for different workouts that you want. So for example, if you search hit here, you could just basically search for different workouts. In this case, we have the 360 degree stronger, carry strength and uh, with Courtney, energy boost featuring Danny and James. So there's going to be a lot here. It also displays how long it's going to be like for this one it is going to be 10 minutes for the energy boost here. We have the cardio strength, which is around 15 minutes. Now, if you want to save a specific workout here for later, you can go and click on the bookmark option here and it will be saved into your bookmark. Now, in this case, what are the other settings that we can access? Now, at the top left of your screen, we have the tree bar icon. So if you click on it, it should show you your name, your workouts, programs, home, save workouts, and a lot more. Now, in this case, each of the following options here gives you different options that you can do. Now, workouts from the name itself allows you to search for workouts or access workouts. Now, if you choose programs, this allows you to search for programs that you might want to uh, use. So we have the flow for growth, Pilates primer, training in early pregnancy, and a lot more. So depending what program that you might want, you might want to get. Now, we also have the homepage here, which in this case allows you to view your homepage, which in this case, you might want to read a few things like different articles or if you're looking for different articles. And also, if you want to find friends here, you will also have the option to search for them. So if you want to view them in your contacts and see if they are actually in the following app here, you can go and click on grant permission here to see all the people that you might want to add as your friend on your uh, fitness or in the Nike Training Club fitness app here. Now, if you click on save workouts, this is where you'll be able to see your save workouts, like what we saved before. And also, if you go to activity, this will show you your general activity right now. So, in this case, in order for you to see your history, you need to first work out. Now, by the way, if you want to see your achievements here, so depending on how active you are, how uh, much you use the app itself, you might get different ach achievements here. If you want to view them, this is where you view them. As you can see, we have the birthday, New Year's Day, International Women's Day, and a lot more. So here, there's going to be a lot. Now, if you go to inbox, this is where you'll be able to see different notifications. Like, for example, a welcome message from the Nike Training Club team here. Now, also, if you go to settings, this allows you to change a few things about your account. Like, for example, you have the option to uh, view your email address, even view your mobile number. Also, if you want to update some information here, you could go and do that. 
You could also change your units of measure here, like if you want to use meter, centimeter, uh, kilometer, or kilogram here, or feet, inches, uh, and a lot more. So depending if you want to use imperial or metric measurement. Now, also have you have your workout settings here. So if you want to add like pause music when workout pauses, if you want to change the app settings here, and also if you want to use alternative code, uh, video codex as well. Yeah, you also have the net notification preference here if you want to show notifications for the Nike training app here. And also you have the option, option to block people or even see or adjust your profile visibility. For example, if you're gonna want to go to profile visibility, you have the option to change uh, if you people, uh, can people actually uh, search for you, or in this case, if are you private or if you are uh, public. So depending on how you want to be visible on the platform itself. Now you also have the uh, block users. If you've blocked someone, so if you added someone and then blocked them, you should be able to see it in here. If you want to do the block. And if you want to access your workout info here, you could basically allow, or in this case, let Nike use your workout info to give features, like for example, running training plans. So in this case, if you give them information or workout information here, they'll be able to uh, further give you uh, suggestions that you might want to try regarding the platform itself. You also have the country, region, language, shopping settings, and a lot more, which in this case, really speaking settings allows you to change the settings of the app itself. So let's go ahead and go back. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and try a workout here. Let's go ahead and click on save workouts, and maybe we want to try the following uh, uh, cardio strength and uh, with Courtney. Let's go ahead and click on this one. Now, from here, it's so going to give you uh, the uh, further details regarding the workout itself. Like, for example, what type of workout? So, this is going to be conditioning, explosive strength. You need dumbbells here, depending on what equipment you need. And you have the following format here, which is, in this case, going to be a class format. Now, in this case, there are going to be information that you can read further here. And also, if you click on the uh, music icon at the bottom right here, this allows you to actually add music. So let's go and click on allow. And from here, you'll have the option to use music. So in this case, you can go ahead and shuffle. You can even, uh, in this case, uh, you could access the music they already have on your phone here. Now, also, if you want to go, go ahead and start with your workout, just click on start workout. And basically, it's going to start the workout, and you could go ahead and just follow along with your workout here. Now, this might take a while to load up since it's going to buffer first, but in this case, once started, you could go ahead and start, start using it. Now, the controls of the video here is pretty much the same thing with uh, the videos or the video players that you see out there. You have the skip forward, go back uh, option here if you want. Now, by the way, if you want to exit the video itself, you can go and click on the back button at the top left here to go back. But yeah, so those are the basics they need to know here in order for you to start using the Nike Training Club Fitness app. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.